afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ trading higher, 39, 14, and 95 points respectively. The Russell Semis and the Transports trading lower, 4 points, 44 points, and 27 points to the downside. Gold's up 28 bucks. That's 1 and 6 tenths percent. Silver up 3 percent, 71 pennies trading out to 24, 21. Both have confirmed A to B equals CD patterns to the upside. Let's go spend a little time with our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. Here's what we know. Price has made its way down to support the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. That key level is 45, 49 and a quarter. If we were to see a close below that come Friday, that would generate a change in trend signal. But right now, support has held. If we take a look at the spot follow Tunix, it's trading above its 50 day exponential moving average, traded into the bearish shooting star candle at 2333. That resistance level has held out there. So what does that mean? I would say if price closes below 2333 and if the ES mini holds 4549, we likely see that spot volatility pull back to its 50-day exponential moving average, and that's at 1968. That'll give some energy to the ES mini and should get price up to about the 4643-ish level. The NQ, it's also holding support. Now it's back inside its weekly bearish structured profile. But support, because price had closed above it, really becomes the center of that level, 15,104. That's what's been tested so far today. That level is held. Now, price needs to close above 15,303.70, uh, yeah, 15, in order to get its mojo back. U.S. dollar index has a uh, confirmed Gartley buy pattern. As long as price remains above the top of its daily profile, that daily profile number is 95.50, price should continue higher. You've got gold with the confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. That's as long as price closes above 1833 today. We're at 1841. That would suggest to move to 1861 to 1883. Silver has already made the one to one move. That was at 2402. The next target becomes 2458. What we want to be on guard for is any kind of bearish reversal candle. Not today, but over the coming days, that would confirm a Gartley sell. Lightsweet crude is taking out its TD9 count top from yesterday. That says strong momentum move, and it should continue higher. Natural gas. Potentially pulling back to the beginning. And a 30 year treasury did find support at the center of its weekly profile. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, but if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one. <laughs>